Here is literally the only thing we have to look forward to next week. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky here with TechBot Solutions. And finally, I'm back here in Arizona with a super quick market update. So $3,100 flat on TQQQ and a little bit over $7,300 on SQQQ, putting my overall day a little bit over 10,500, I would say. So very grateful for that. If you're part of my LPP team, you saw me call out my exit on SQQQ. First off, I sold a little bit too early, but you also saw my call out on my entry on TQQQ, and that one played out very beautifully. My exit on this one was not perfect, but pretty close to perfect. I ended up getting out right around uh, 2862, if I'm not mistaken, 2861 around that general area. Uh, so was able to actually close out this trade uh, right before I went into my flight from Mexico back to Arizona. So the only thing that I, uh, well, two things, right? Two things you have to look forward to for next week is the talk about the debt ceiling. It was supposed to happen this week, but it got rescheduled for next week, and it's going to be supposedly on Friday. So Joe Biden, a lot of you guys might know him as the president of the United States, and the uh, head speaker of the House of Representatives is set to um, have an actual conversation about either increasing the debt ceiling um, or coming up with some form of solution as that has been some of the biggest concerns for the overall market, especially as we've kind of just been consolidating around the same general area. If we look at QQQ and we look at this on the day chart, we have been making progress since April but not very much, right? We've been kind of lacking that progress and I think it's because we went from our real focus being at the inflation rate and then when that thing began to cool down, we had the concern of the recession and then when that began to cool off, and now we have the concern of the debt ceiling. So all they really have to agree to is raising the debt ceiling because uh, I don't see any other way around it, right? Uh, we can make a little bit, uh, or we can make a video getting a little bit more in detail when it comes down to that. I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys can let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but when it comes down to all economic reports that are set to be released next week, the biggest thing that I would encourage you to learn a little bit more about is the debt ceiling and what's to come next week and how that could influence the overall market. Remember, even if it does move the market, just kind of like we experienced this week with the CPI data reports and the PPI data reports, yes, it does move the markets, but ultimately, especially for you long-term investors, it shouldn't be something that really encourages you or discourages you to make impulsive decisions. And I love saying that is because a lot of people get frightened with the idea of, well, markets can shift. Yes, I mean, at the end of the day, pullbacks are part of the process. And looking at the overall NASDAQ market on the day chart, it's been on a consistent rally. If the market does pull on back, it's not going to be the end of the world. Oh, another way that you can view it is if the market does pull on back, you should have money on the sidelines, right, based off of your position size. Uh, position size. Um, you should have money on your sidelines to actually be able to load up at cheaper levels and be able to buy at the higher lows, right? Uh, it's something that a lot of investors look forward to. And instead of not looking forward to pullbacks and understanding the long-term game and how you can even make money, you know, even more money when markets do pull on back because it gives you the opportunity to be able to buy at cheaper levels. So if you have any questions about this, again, you're more than welcome to message me via Instagram or via Discord. And if you want me to make a video a little bit more when it comes down to the, uh, the debt ceiling uh, and what this would mean for the overall stock market, uh, then make sure you drop a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that you guys enjoyed our free live trading session today. Um, I know we had quite a bit of people tune on in and it got a lot of positive feedback back. We gave away another $1,000 today. We gave away $1,000 last week, and I'm going to be doing another free live trading session this upcoming week and giving away another $1,000. So if you want to save your spot for next week, it's the first link in the description down below. It is free to save your spot. So I hope to see you guys there if you're not already a part of our LPP team. If you're ready to join our team, that's that second link in the description down below. Other than that, do not forget there's only a couple days left for our GTR giveaway, and all of that is linked in in the description if you haven't entered already. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.